Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today, I'm going to share with you some information on how to poop properly. I know it sounds weird, but unfortunately, in today's modernized, civilized, and highly domesticated society, we have lost touch with the finely crafted art of shitting. Now, I know it sounds weird, of course, because what is the fine crafted art of shitting or whatever I just said? Um, I don't really know, but I do know that we're shitting improperly and that's affecting our health negatively. So uh, I'm going to share with you in this video uh, basically how to be a primal shitter. How to shit primally. And uh, I know there's a lot of shit talk going on already and I'm sorry if I'm offending you. Um, this shit shouldn't offend you because we all shit and shitting is part of life so you have to deal with this shit. Anyway, so uh, today I'm going to share with you uh, how to poop properly and why posture is so important. Now, before I get into this, I just want to share with you why posture is so important. You have to think of posture as the ability for your body to properly conduct and optimize itself in any given situation. So, for example, your feet actually have posture. Uh, there's actually growing up in uh, America or somewhere where you uh, wear shoes all the time, your toes are actually pushed together and this is something I'm learning about recently and it's called a closed foot and then there's also open foot and that affects your foot posture which can affect your knee uh, posture which can affect your back posture and really just your health and well-being overall and when your posture is negatively affected what that does is it kind of puts a kink in your body's ability to transport blood, oxygen, hydration, nutrients and all these different types of things to heal, repair and recover your body so posture is very important and it really just allows for the flow of anything positive into your body to get to where it needs to be. So that's, that's kind of the role of posture in your health and well-being. So to understand, uh, really, like I said, we're kind of really uh, civilized and uh, domesticated. Uh, the invention of you know, the modern day toilet, what we do is we sit on the toilet at a 90 degree angle, which is actually not the proper way to release fecal matter. It's not the proper way to release a bowel movement from our colons. So, one thing you have to understand is that if you've ever suffered from like hemorrhoids, bloating, constipation, uh, if you are straining to release your bowel movements, it's partially because you, are, you have the wrong posture when you're pooping. So, understanding that and then understanding how to poop properly and how to use the right posture to your advantage is going to help you release more fecal matter, which is important because if you are only uh, releasing you know, half of the fecal matter within your colon, uh, that fecal matter petrifies and ferments and causes uh, toxins to recirculate in, back into your bloodstream and uh, really causes your colon, uh, it affects your colon in a very negative way, which is a, a very important digestive organ and uh, also affects uh, many other things, obviously hemorrhoids, bloating, uh, and all, gas, and all these other different types of things. Also, bad breath. If someone has really bad breath that smells like fecal matter, that is 100% their colon. So uh, there's many things linked to this. It affects your health and well-being in a lot of ways. And your digestive organs are very important for health and well-being overall. So uh, I'm going to share with you today how the posture works and what you can do about that. And I'm going to share with you uh, something that I've been recently using called the Squatty Potty. Now, I'm going to show you an example in a minute, but first I'm going to read you a few things from the medical and scientific studies that they have done on the squatty potty. Uh, basically, uh, anatomically, which you know, basically anatomically means to relate to anatomy, which is the structure of living things, uh, humans are designed to squat to eliminate. Sitting causes problems like constipation and hemorrhoids. Uh, that's why I recommend squatty potty, and this is a, an MD. Uh, and then they have uh, gastro, uh, gastroenteral gastroenterology, it's a tough one to say, and then just medical journals and, and different uh, doctors and people recommending squatty potty, but uh, basically what you have to think of is you have to think of, uh, I'll just show you. So basically, I got a, a nifty stool behind me, and I'm going to show you how the squatty potty works and how uh, shitting normally occurs. So, <laughs> so basically, if this were the toilet right here, if you sat on the toilet, pretend the stool is the toilet, uh, you're sitting down, your feet are obviously in front of you, and you go to the bathroom. Your body's at a 90 degree angle, and that's that. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory. And the only thing though is that when you're doing that, 
your, your 90 degree angle is not fully allowing your colon to open up. So basically, your colon is like a, uh, think of it like a, two, like, a, like a balloon, if you will. And when you're sitting at a 90 degree angle, it's just like the balloon stays still. But when you sit at a 45 degree angle, which I'm about to show you, it actually opens that up kind of like a V. And it allows for the fecal matter to kind of fall inside out, just like on that slide at the water park. So you get to let your boys free a lot easier. So basically, what I'm going to do here is show you the squatty potty. Basically, what you do is you sit on the stool, and then you put your feet on the squatty potty. You just pull it up close to you, and you're kind of sitting in a position like you're skiing, like you're either like water skiing or downhill. Well, I guess water skiing would be the best example if you've ever water skied. Uh, you're putting your knees kind of close to your chest and you're squatting. So that's a good step up the ladder, if you will, to improve your digestive health and your colon health to avoid hemorrhoids, bloating, uh, constipation, and just uh, straining if you, if you have a difficult time uh, pooping. But if you want to take it to another level, what I actually do now is I sit, I sit down and I put my feet on squatty potty and then I actually slightly stand up a little bit. So I'm actually like this. I'm actually in a squatting position, and then I put my my uh, arms over my knees like this, and I might need to back up a little bit to show you this. Um, I put my arms over my knees like this, like my you know my arms just sitting you know on top of my knees, and then I squat, you know, go to work, handle the business, whatever you want to call it, and then uh, go to the bathroom that way. And the reason I do that is because the, the body actually releases more fecal matter, not only when you're squatting, but when you are flexing. So evolutionarily speaking, primarily speaking, we evolved to squat. And I believe that the reason that's more effective that way is because when you're squatting like that, you're using your leg muscles, you're using your, your glutes, your, your thighs, and you're using uh, you know, lower body muscles, and it brings blood flow and circulation to the area, which helps to work to release fecal matter. It brings, you know, it really like pulls down and out. So uh, for me, uh, I've really noticed a difference by using the squatty potty. And this squatty potty here is a nine inch bamboo squatty potty and I will link this up below. There's also a shorter squatty potty if you think this would be difficult or too high. Uh, and I think it's made out of plastic, but this, the reason I got this was because it was nine inch, so it's a little bit higher of an angle, so it's a little bit more advanced and it works a little bit better but it helps you uh, release more fecal matter and it's made out of bamboo, so it's eco-friendly. I just like it, it's gonna last me for um, many years, I'm sure, because it's bamboo and you know I don't know why it wouldn't. So, uh, so I highly recommend this if you, have, um, if you have hemorrhoids, if you have bloating, gas, um, anything like that, hemorrhoids, bloating, gas, constipation. Um, and basically I just wanna read one more thing to you and like I said, I'll put pictures, links, medical studies in science all below this video, but uh, basically I just want to read this quick thing. Let's review the mechanics of going to the bathroom. People can control when they defecate to some extent by contracting or releasing the anal sphincter. I have no idea what that is, but I will find out and put that in the article below. Uh, but that muscle can't maintain continence on its own. The body also relies on a bend in the rectum where the feces is stored and the anus where the feces comes out. So basically, to sum up this video, which is a very interesting topic, um, lots of shit in this video. <laughs> um, basically, by squatting, instead of sitting on the toilet at a 90 degree angle, it's when, when you're squatting at a 45 degree angle, it's healthier for your colon and it allows you to go to the bathroom easier. And by doing that, you're releasing more fecal matter, more toxins, and it allows your body to be cleaner and healthier. And if you're looking to lose uh, excess fat or detoxify or avoid bloating, gas, constipation, or hemorrhoids, uh, anything like that, or just improve the health of your colon or improve the health of your digestive system overall, which really all of us should be open to doing that if we want to be healthier and live a higher quality life. Uh, the squatty potty uh, or anything that you put your feet on um, is beneficial for your colon health and and uh, bowel movements overall. The squatty potty is just great because it's engineered to fit perfectly right in front of you. And the nine inch bamboo one right here is uh, perfect for me. Um, and if you're athletic and uh, you know you want to have the best results, um, I highly recommend it. So I will link that information up below with the article and uh, different pictures and things that will help you learn more about this. And uh, hopefully that'll help you out in your health a lot. Uh, it definitely has for me. Personally, I've noticed 
uh, shitting is a lot easier. Like, I, shitting was never really hard for me, but now I sit down and I squat on the squatty potty and the shit just flies out. It's like a rocket ship. It's incredible. Um, it's much easier, it's much faster. It's not like I have to like sit on the toilet reading a magazine or Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever these people read nowadays. I don't really know, but um, I, I do read every health books through behind me. But um, but yeah, so if, if you want to have a better experience in the toilet, <laughs> Get a squatty potty, you're gonna notice it right away, and I uh, highly recommend it if you have hemorrhoids, bloating, or constipation. Those three things it's very beneficial for uh, scientifically and medically speaking. So that's it for this video. Once again, this is David Benjamin from healthywildandfree.com. Make sure to subscribe to my channel below for more health and wellness, nutrition, detoxification, fitness, spirituality, green living, and all that great stuff, uh, information and videos. And like this video below if you learned something from it. Leave your comments below. I love humorous comments, so if you can make me laugh and you can laugh at the same time, why not? Humor is good for the immune system. So that's it for this video. See you in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.